Happy New Year. My name is Ashley and I'm a teacher here at Hande Chengdong. I'm going to be doing a presentation today for Bridge C2 class and it is called Brain Boosters, Unit 4, Lesson 2. We all face academic pressures, whether from our parents, our teachers, or even ourselves. And although smart drugs are not healthy for our learning processes or for our brains, many students are using them to get ahead and to avoid these pressures. I have come up with some alternative ways to get that extra mental boost without using smart drugs. Oh, my parents and my teachers, they want me to get straight A's and they want me to participate in every discussion. I don't have enough time or energy for this. What should I do? I heard about some other students at schools using Adderall and Modafinil to get ahead, to stay focused and to stay awake longer. Maybe I should do that. Hmm. I don't know. We also talked about the risks of these drugs in school, so maybe I should come up with some healthy ways on my own. Okay, so my first order of business is staying awake, and next it will be staying focused. So I need to keep a journal in order to stay organized and write down all of my daily activities, and next I will need to make sure my cell phone is turned off by 8 p.m. every night. I will stick to a routine so I can stay focused for this. Also, I will go into quiet places when I'm studying rather than having all these distractions. The next thing I'll do is I will start exercising regularly. I'll make sure that I motivate my body to motivate my mind. And I will also read inspirational stories or poems every week in order to keep myself motivated. And I will also accomplish one new goal per week. I'll make that goal on Sunday and I'll accomplish it by the next Sunday. Okay, my next problem to tackle is being able to stay awake at night. Rather than using drugs, I can start by meditating. I can start by meditating and this will help me keep my breathing alert and focused and this will help me stay awake at night. The next thing I can do is I can start changing the snacks that I'm eating, having healthy snacks rather than junk food to keep me energized. And I'll also make sure that I take uh, breaks while I'm studying rather than doing it all at once, just take segments of studying. And I can also stretch before and after my meditation. This is a schedule that I've created with all these activities that I've talked about today. So, of course, turning off my cell phone, meditation, all of those things. And these are a couple of pictures to represent what I've been talking about, the different activities up top, some of the different types of foods that I will be putting into my diet, and of course this little guy down here that's showing you meditation. These methods, though, they are very tedious and time-consuming. They are much more effective than the smart drugs that some students are using. Many students need to be aware of the negative effects or the negative side effects of these smart drugs. So they need to know about the alternative ways that I have created in order to stay focused and to stay awake longer. Welcome to my presentation today, and I hope some of my tips have helped you just as much as they have helped me.